started climbing when I was 15 and uh, I've been doing it for 20 years now. I grew up in Glasgow and wanted to explore you know, wild places and mountains. I've done hundreds of, of new routes and so I've climbed many, many hundreds of metres of rock that no one's ever been on. Physically, the biggest challenge of, of rock climbing is the strength in your fingers. So the best rock climber is the one who has the lightest body but the strongest fingers. At the other end of your body, on your, on your toes, your rock shoes are the kind of link to the rock and you have to have great sensitivity in those. The hardest and most dangerous climb that I've ever done is a, a new route I did on Ben Nevis called Echo Wall. And to do that route, I had to uh, move house from Glasgow and, and go and live at the foot of the mountain. Um, and I did two or three years of really specific training to get strong and fit enough to do the route, but also to get to a place mentally where I was able to take a bigger risk than I would normally accept. Over the years, I've certainly gone into the red many times, but I've also had bad falls and been really badly injured. You do have to accept that what you're doing is dangerous, but I'm willing to accept that. You know, it's like climbing is my passion. It's like it's what I want to do with my life. So it would be crazy not to keep going. When you come to a climb like this, you do have an uncertainty. You're not entirely sure whether you can do it or not, but you come to it with an attitude where you feel like you're going to go for it and you're going to go out and try and get it done. So you come across this wall uh, underneath this, this big roof that's kind of going out above your, your head and I can see the little flake on the, on the edge of the roof, uh, but it's just such a long stretch across to it. And when you, when you make that stretch across, that's when the exposure below your feet really kicks in because you feel that your feet want to swing off and eventually they do swing off and you have to just completely go for it and say, right, there's no, no turning back. I'm going up to the, the edge uh, above. I just feel that if you can do a climb on your first try, it's not hard enough to be really memorable. So always the most fun climbs that you have are the ones where you maybe fall off, you maybe don't know where to go, and you have to go back and try again. If I see Dave struggling or I think he's going to come off or like he cuts loose, um, my first instinct is to get ready to hold the fall. You know, you can't think emotionally. So in a way, I get kind of used to seeing him take these great big falls and do dangerous routes. You just have to take it in your stride. You go mad if you didn't. The fear of falling in, in rock climbing is all in the anticipation. And that's when you have that horrible feeling in your stomach. But at the moment when you go for the move and you actually realize that's it, you are coming off. The rock just rushes past you and you can't even register a kind of thought. And the next thing you see is when your rope comes tight and then you see the rock coming towards you. <laughs> you just put your feet out and protect yourself. I look at a, a line on a cliff and I'm like, I really, really want to climb that. I don't want to go home having not climbed it. And that is, that's what I'm thinking at the moment where I'm going for that hold. I'm like, I want to get this hold. I want to get to the top. I want to do it.